PAX West has come and gone, and I got the chance to play a few games. I couldn't wait to play What the Car. What the Golf was one of my favorite games on my Switch and had so many fun puzzles and challenges to solve, all with a ton of wit, charm, and personality. What the Car takes everything that I loved about What the Golf and brings it to the world of racing, if you can even call it that. So my name is Aranze Andersen, uh, and my title is producer of What the Car. Excellent. And I'm. this is one of my most anticipated games of the event, What the Golf. I played it 100%. I loved it. Can you just give me at least just a little bit of the background of how these games came to be? For those that don't know, I mean, super goofy, super fun. How do you start on a project like this? I mean, originally, What the Golf, we wanted to pick a, uh, a topic for a game that we knew nothing about. Uh, because we think that there might be some inherent comedy in that. So we thought, okay, golf is probably the most stupid thing we can come up with. So let's just do that and, and go crazy with it. And for What the Car, uh, we're basically a team of people who don't have driver's licenses, uh, fantasizing about what it might be like to drive a car. And uh, that's kind of how that comes together. I, and, and how do you just kind of get to that moment where you just say, let's just have fun? I mean, this whole... What the golf was fun, like you said, you don't know anything about the topics. You're not trying to make the next great golf simulator, even though it's my favorite golf game. How do you just embrace that idea of, of just fun? I mean, it's it's pretty easy. The, the dev team uh, are pretty crazy themselves. Like, they're just uh, great, totally unhinged people uh, who find a lot of joy in just making silly stuff like this. Um, and I mean, as a producer, for me, my job is just saying, no, rein it in. We don't have time. Take it easy. We can't do all of this stuff you want to do. Um, also, just to tie this a little bit to, um, so we started making What the Car during the pandemic when we were all forced to work from home. Um, and that actually put a bit of a damper on, on the comedy side of things. And we discovered that coming back to the office, as soon as we crewed and as soon as it was safe and all that stuff, um, making comedy games while looking each other in the eyes just works so much better. Um, you need to be able to say, hey, I made this funny thing, I made this joke, and you need to see in people's faces, is it good? Is it funny? Are they smiling? Uh, am I getting the reaction I want? Um, so we struggled a little bit with that, but you know, when it was safe and good, then we could come back, and then we really you know, turned up the heat on the production. Yeah. Is it is it hard to do a funny game? Is it is it is it hard to implement implement humor and and set yourself up for those those moments where you did look at your coworkers and maybe the <laughs> smiles weren't there? I mean, um, yeah, okay. So admittedly, some days you come to work and you're just not feeling like a funny person. You come to work and you're like, okay, I need I need to be hilarious on command today. I need to come up with some more dad jokes. I don't really have it in me. Uh, but those days are, are, you know, far between. Uh, yeah, most days we, we try to foster uh, also just a general ping pong while someone's sitting and doing some boring programming. You'll go over to them and you'll go like, nudge, nudge, hear this joke. Is it good? And then we'll write that down for the days where it's a bit harder. Uh, so we, we try to, to catch that when it's there. Uh, also not afraid to say, okay, everybody seems to be really jokey today. Let's just have a, a brainstorm and write stuff down. So we have it for a rainy day. Um, so it's actually, it's not that hard. The, the people are just really good, really creative, really hilarious. It's great to be able to work with a team like that. And, and, and so what's different between what the golf and what the car? I mean, I'm looking at it here. There's a lot of the same things, but it kind of looks like everything's been taken up to a little bit, maybe that next level. Uh, it definitely has. I think um, we were fortunate enough that, that golf really, really hit people in, in the right place. We've, we've gotten a lot of response from people around the world that they really love golf. So there was quite a lot of anticipation for this. We, we had a lot of people come up to us and say, you, what's what's next, right? What's the, what's the next game? And that's always what you're a little bit scared of hearing. Um, but I think, I think when we relatively early on nailed down, okay, it's a racing game, but it's not gonna be about racing. It's gonna be about what we don't know about driving. Um, I think there it, it kind of rolled for itself but the team has also been much bigger than for, for golf i think we're at least twice as many people um and that that's made it better i think that's that's given us better time and better resources to really make it the game we wanted to make mm -hmm. yeah and I, I can only imagine having a, a, a bigger uh, a bigger team to help last question what what what, uh, what haven't we covered what do people need to know so they can uh make sure that they're getting what uh, what the car oh what do they need to know i mean 
if you have a driver's license, it's gonna be harder. <laughs> like, for real, I, I can recommend forgetting everything you thought you knew about how cars work. Uh, huh? At the release date. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, really, just throw that away. And um, uh, already now here, we're coming out on Steam uh, uh, September 9th. Wow. So that's really soon. Uh, so we're just uh, really hyped for people to find us on Steam there. So many great games are coming out really soon. What are you looking forward to playing? You can check out my other previews on my YouTube channel and my interview with Kind of Funny's Greg Miller.